Hey guys, my name is Solo Q and welcome to the channel. First things first, who's hyped for the North Star season? Well, it is finally here upon us. Remember what I said in my first video about North Star that Mina saved Nomad? Well, Ubisoft released a video showing us just how Mina saved Nomad. If you have not seen it yet, here it is. Ready? Six years ago, I met a pilot. She saved my life. That symbol, what does it mean? <laughs> this jacket was my father's. Dagu Wakan, Wichachpi. The creator's star has many meanings. Love, wisdom, bravery. Shoots you. Listen, I need to get this bird in the air. You try to get some rest. You're the boss. What's happening? Shh. next <laughs> why don't you ask yourself really cool video if i may say so myself did you notice the different color fingers on nomad well if you didn't know this nomad actually is missing two fingers and it appears she lost them in the north to frostbite ubisoft just released the north star battle pass as well buying the battle pass will get you all sorts of goodies ranging from weapon and attachment skins to charms, player skins, and R6 credits. Buying the higher tier battle pass will get you Thunderbird, aka Mina Sky. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that uh, you can also get Renown boosters in the battle pass. The battle pass contains 100 tiers of items that you can get. You know you all want the Capcan Karen headgear. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the changes too. Also, Rainbow Six Siege will be free to play this weekend, June 17th through June 20th of 2021. Okay, I've rambled enough. So without further delay, let's hop right into segment two of All You Need to Know. I know what you're wondering. What's in the canister? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm only mucking about. Relax. As for what's in the canister, it's best you don't ask. In this episode, we will be discussing the one and only James Smoke Porter. Smoke was born on May 14th in London, England. During his childhood, he was not a standout from the rest kid. He did take some aptitude tests, and they revealed he loved science. Since he did not like the, quote, formal schooling, Smoke was educated in a different way. His parents and his teachers gave him tutors, homeschooling, and field science. Because of this method of education, that is when Smoke stood out from the rest. Smoke quickly developed his skills in chemistry, biology, and math. Smoke was not interested in going to college, so he did something else instead. He forged a fake ID and joined the British Army. Although some of the rules that the Army had did not sit well with Smoke, he was able to cope with them by the wide variety of training and experiences he had while in the Army. Even though Smoke would be reprimanded for his rule-breaking, his superior officers couldn't help but notice his genius, innovation, and strategic knowledge. He was encouraged to join the SAS, and he did just that. So what did we learn there? Basically, that Smoke prefers to learn things his way, and he does not do well in formal training. 
So what's smoke psychological report? Well, I'm glad you asked. Smoke is almost always described as detached. Some say it's not that he's detached, but rather he's focused. It seems that his free-spirited attitude has served him well. There was once an experiment that went wrong, but only gave him some physical scars. It did not appear to affect Smoke at all mentally or emotionally. Smoke is popular with the other operators, even though he can be reckless. He's been described as a thrill seeker and fearless. Smoke is highly intelligent and understands calculated risk. He enjoys learning new things, and once he's mastered them, he moves on. Smoke actually has an adopted daughter. He has been shown to show only one photo of her. In the photo, she is just a baby and surrounded by all kinds of dangerous scientific things. Talk about father of the year, right? According to Smoke, his adopted daughter is now in high school and is doing very well. Smoke has said that because of her, he sees the world in new ways. Okay, so now that we know a bit about Smoke, what's his primary gadget? Well, it's called the Compound Z8 Grenade. It is also known by the name of Toxic Babe Canister. Well, what's in the canister? Well, that's the question we all want answered. But as Smoke says, it's best we don't ask. It probably breaks the Geneva Convention that banned chemical weapons in warfare. Now that North Star is live, when Smoke detonates a canister, it will no longer go through walls. It also does 15 HP of damage every 0.66 seconds you are in the gas. The Smoke effect will last for 10 seconds as well. It gets three of them, so use them wisely. I typically save my toxic babes for late round when I play a smoke. Now obviously that won't always work, but it's best to hold on to them as long as you can. With that being said, if there is 30 seconds left in the round, you can essentially area deny entry points onto the objective. Attackers would have to rush through the gas while taking HP damage or lose the round. Why? Well, because you had three toxic babes, which last 10 seconds each, which equals 30 seconds. Other ways to use the toxic babes are to cut off rotation path, provide some concealment for you and your teammates to move around site, and even prevent a plant from going down. To plant the bomb as an attacker, it takes 7 seconds. Even at full HP, no one can last in the smoke for 7 seconds before succumbing to the gas. Alright, briefly, let's talk about loadout. Smoke has the FMG-9 and pump action shoddy for his primaries. For his secondaries, he has the P226 pistol and the SMG-11. For gadgets, he has barbed wire and a deployable shield. I personally run the shoddy, SMG-11, and deployable shield every time I play smoke. Why? Well, because I use the shoddy to make rotations and other holes needed for a solid defense. It's also extremely lethal in close quarters combat. I use the SMG-11 for more long distance gunfights. And the shield, well, that's for protection. Since Smoke is a two armor, two speed defender, his loadout and abilities makes him a great anchor. Smoke is rarely banned and is almost an essential operator to bring while playing defense. A great Smoke player, one that knows how to use him properly, can really do a lot of damage. In my opinion, he's one of the hardest operators to learn and master, but once you do, you're golden. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed the video. That's all I have to pass on about Smoke. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you would be so kind as to click that subscribe button as well. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss another video. All of that is free, only takes a couple of seconds, and really, really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and as always, watch your six.